Okay, Glass, record a video. A wearable computer that can record whatever you're seeing and share it all with your friends. Or if you need information, Google Jellyfish. This is the world seen through Google Glass, a pair of smart spectacles that has a tiny camera with voice recognition technology. To activate the device, you either tap the side of the frame or tilt your head up and down really quickly. Then a tiny screen appears on the top right corner of my vision and it displays the time. From here, you say, OK, Glass, record a video. And what it does is record whatever I'm seeing, and in this case, my wonderful crew who are all enjoying a breathtaking view on top of the Singapore Flyer. You can also get flight information, ask for directions, After this bridge, first exit. or if you need help with translation, okay, Glass, Google, how do you say I love you in Korean? There is a touchpad on the side, which lets you control the device by swiping your fingers up and down, but it's not exactly user-friendly. Connectivity was also another problem. If your Wi-Fi network requires a password, then you need the MyGlass app, which is currently not available outside the United States. Meantime, I had to pair the glass with a phone that supports Bluetooth data tethering if I wanted to access web-based services on the go. As for the battery, it couldn't last beyond three hours, hardly enough for a day's use. But after all, this is still a prototype. Another problem is you can't fold Google Glass like a pair of real spectacles, so it is quite difficult to carry around. And what it promises to deliver has made the glass a subject of controversy. How would you feel if I tell you I've been recording you for the last two minutes and I've just posted this on Facebook? It's something weird, as in like, how can you just record? That's a bit freaky. You might turn out that like it's sort of a computer in your brain. Google, however, says privacy concerns will fade as people incorporate the eyewear into their lives. But will it be something revolutionary, like the iPhone? Sure, it will definitely earn you a lot of attention. And the technology opens plenty of possibilities. Oh, yeah. Hi, oh. But beyond the novelty of having a pair of spectacles that takes pictures... Take a picture. There really isn't anything spectacular about what he can do. For now, the glass appears half empty to me. And Google has to do a lot more if it wants to convince me to buy a pair that's worth 1,500 US dollars. Reporting for Tech Today, I'm Stefan Lowe.